Hey everyone, this video is to help you understand two things. One, Interactive Brokers allows you to trade cryptocurrency. And two, explains quickly and easily how to place orders on cryptocurrency within Interactive Brokers. But before we get started, please bring your attention to the disclaimer on this page and know that all trading of all kind comes with risk. So please give that a read through. And now let's get started. So what you see here is I have Tesla on the page and I'm not gonna go through my entire setup. I have a different video on how I set up interactive brokers or ibkr if you will i go through all the different details um, i discuss why i prefer interactive brokers for executions and what the strengths are so if you want to learn about that i'm going to link to that here on twitter it's under my highlight section and on youtube you can find it on my youtube channel i have full in-depth where i walk you through step by step with not only setup but customization that is outside the scope of today's video but i will quickly remind everybody that these are all linked so this is just a chart this is an order entry panel and this is book trader. They're all linked, meaning that if I change one, the others will change in tandem. And why is that? Because they're grouped together, right? So you see the green chain, it's group four, right? Panels on group four. And of course, book trader is set to group four. If I change that, well, when I switch something over in one of them, it won't compute with the rest. Now, I'll give you an example here. If I go to Microsoft, you'll notice that Microsoft automatically populates in the other because they're grouped together. So Bitcoin, how do we pull it up? How do we pull up crypto? Well, you just type in the symbol. It's going to give you the option, of course, right? You don't want to go to the wrong vehicle. You would go to cryptocurrency and Paxos, right? And there you go. You pull up Bitcoin. Now, placing an order, you see that Bitcoin is at 34.6 and change. Okay, well, what do you do with that? Uh, if you're placing an order and you're wondering, how do I size that out? Don't worry about it. When you go to place your order, it doesn't matter. You can place it in one or the other up to you and you can customize all the details, arm your panel, all that sort of thing. As you go to buy, let's say you're buying, and you can set specifics, limit market, etc. When you enter your quantity here, you do it in US dollars. So if you don't have enough to purchase a, an entire Bitcoin, or if you don't want to in your account, uh, 34.6, you just set the dollar amount that you would like to purchase in for, and it will perform the calculation for you. So if you're, let's say you're putting in $100, you don't have to say, okay, let me purchase 0.0x percent or portion of a single Bitcoin that'll be automatically calculated for you. And then of course, there are other cryptocurrency vehicles that you can use. So you would just type ETH to pull up Ethereum. Now if you're getting away, we'll reset the order entry. That's okay. And here we go. Ethereum cryptocurrency. Now, before you proceed, if you want to take a look at the FAQs to understand more, I would advise you to go to Interactive Brokers page and I'm going to pull it up right here. And so here we are. You can learn a lot more. You can learn about the commission structure. You can look about more about interactive brokers and there will be a full FAQ so you can understand all the different details as it pertains to crypto. And you can see things like, well, what cryptocurrencies can I trade? Right? Because there is a host, there are endless number of cryptocurrencies and this might change in the future. Of course, it may expand, it gives you all the details that you're looking for. At the very least, I would suggest following my link check it out. You can take a look at Interactive Brokers if you haven't already. If you have an Interactive Brokers account, you now know how to place orders and execute. And if you don't, you can take a look at the link below, help you understand and make your own decision. I always suggest you perform your due diligence, see what you're comfortable with. But I think it's at the least worth checking out Interactive Brokers. And I know that a lot of brokerages don't allow you to trade crypto directly through them. So that's it. Pretty simple, straightforward, and there will be more in the future. Thanks, guys.